Hello, in this session, we will create a custom depth effect that allows us to see beyond walls with multiple colors using a custom stencil. First, go to the project settings, locate the custom depth stencil pass, and enable the stencil feature. Then, place the desired meshes in your level. For each mesh that you want to include in the custom depth effect, go to its details panel, enable the render custom depth pass option, and assign custom depth stencil values in sequence as shown in the video. Next, find the post process volume in the place actors panel and place it in your level. To set up the post process, go to the details panel of the post process volume and create an array in the post process material section. Ensure that the post process applies to the entire level by checking the infinite extent option. Now create a material. Set the material domain to post process and assign this material to the array in the post process volume. Then, create a scene texture node to access various buffer functions. Add a component mask node, check the R, G, and B channels, and connect it to the scene texture node. Setting the scene texture node to post process input 0 will display the background as is. Next, duplicate the scene texture node twice. Set one to scene depth to output screen depth and the other to custom depth for checking the depth of specific objects. Create a multiply node and create a parameter node by holding the S key and clicking. Name and set the value for the parameter node as shown in the video. Connect the nodes to the custom depth node and divide the distance by the parameter value to set the visible range. Use a saturate node to clamp the values between 0 and 1, and then use a 1 minus node to invert the values. Connecting the 1 minus node to the emissive color pin of the material will make only the meshes with render custom depth pass enabled appear white. Next, create a lerp node by holding the L key and clicking. Then connect the 1 minus node to the alpha pin of the lerp node. Connect the post process input 0 node to the lerp node as shown in the video, and then connect it to the emissive color. This setup will make the rest of the scene appear as the original background, except for the meshes. Create a subtract node to see the meshes behind walls by subtracting the scene depth node from the custom depth node. Create another lerp node and connect it to the subtract and saturate nodes, then link the lerp node to the emissive color. This time, you'll notice the background turns white, except for the mesh, which remains hidden behind the wall. By linking the lerp nodes together as shown in the video, the mesh will appear as normal when viewed from the front and turn white when viewed from behind a wall.
Now copy another scene texture node and set it to custom stencil, which can hold values from 0 to 255. Create a divide node and divide the custom stencil node's value by 1. In the level's top left view mode, find custom stencil and change the mode. You'll see the custom depth stencil values assigned to the meshes appear in sequence. Next, create a bit mask function to determine whether the values are 0 or 1. Copy this function twice and connect them to the divide node as shown in the video. Create three constant nodes by holding the one key and clicking, then assign a number to each. Connect these to the bit mask functions to evaluate the stencil values of the meshes. Next, Create four constant three vector nodes by holding the three key and clicking. Then set the colors for the meshes to be visible behind the walls. Create three lerp nodes and connect the constant three vector nodes and bit mask functions to the lerp nodes as shown in the video. Finally, connect the LERP nodes to the existing LERP node linked to the Scene Texture nodes. This will allow the meshes that appeared white behind walls to take on the colors set according to their stencil value. Changing the stencil value of the mesh will alter its color based on the values set in the material.